To solve the age old question, how do I get in front of C-level decision makers? Try, innovate, test, and deliver. Now, C-level titles can be easier to get in front of if you're targeting companies with say less than 300 employees, give or take. But what about Fortune 500 C-level titles? They're hard to get in touch with, yeah, but believe me, not impossible. Stay tuned as we break it down. My first tip is to climb the ladder. Especially if you're targeting enterprise companies, it's much easier to reach out to a lower seniority title and sometime mid conversation, ask for a reference or an introduction to the C-level title that ultimately is your target. I've had numerous prospects say that they can't really make those calls and I should reach out to someone higher up or sometimes they even said exactly which title to approach. Perfect, ask for an introduction and a few words for them to recap the conversation already in motion. Be persuasive and pushy. Now, pushy doesn't mean rude, it means aggressive. Being aggressive isn't a bad thing in outreach because it shows your determination. If a prospect responds simply, I'm not your guy, be smart in how you move next. Don't necessarily always try the same introduction trick. Be polite, respond in a way that shows you understand they don't make those calls and ask questions in a way that they themselves wanna transfer you to someone higher up because they're already interested in the end result themselves. Maximize your connections. Using a re-engage campaign, which is basically writing the same prospects a month after they finished your original sequence, but with different wording, is and can be effective if done right. Obviously, if your goal is to get to C-level positions and you've had multiple prospects respond saying, reach out to someone higher up, this is information that you can use to play an important part. Now, in re-engaging prospects, first things first, the templates need to differ from your previous ones but you can utilize the information from any positive and negative responses you received in your original campaign. In the body of your email, include something like, I understand that you might not be able to make a decision like this due to the chain of command. So if you wouldn't mind, could you possibly forward me to the email of your C title? And I would greatly appreciate it. Now you can also try something along the lines of taking into consideration the recent responses I've been getting. I understand that maybe this email would be better fit in your C levels hands. Any chance you could connect me with them or even just forward my email? Trying out new ways to get lower titles to connect you to your ideal target works quite often. I actually tried this same tactic back in my cold calling sales days and you'd be surprised how often it actually worked. Try it. Before I get to my last point, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications and check out our other videos to learn more B2B sales tips and tricks. Okay, my last tip for today is to build yourself up as an influencer. Nowadays, there are many ways to become an influencer and get more sway with your posts and your content. This honestly ties closely with reaching C-level titles because no matter how good of a person, extremely successful high seniority titles are both very busy and not always willing to meet with lower seniority employees. I'd say this isn't personal, it's just simply business. If you can build your name and brand to the point where you're seeing success and growth, you have a higher chance of successfully scheduling meetings with high seniority titles. LinkedIn, for example, works like a charm. I had this one credit union CEO that responded and then went cold. For months, I tried to get a response from him via phone and email, nothing. Finally, I connected with him on LinkedIn and we started chatting. End result, we had the meeting, it went well, and we ended up closing a deal for over $50,000. Now, I can't say that I was an influencer and had such a solid reputation, but I had more than a thousand connections in the credit union industry and that helped my case. Sending out daily connections, flooding their feed with insightful, innovative, and inspiring posts, and then nurturing those prospects gives you a chance, a much higher chance, of even getting an accepted connection request and then a response. I mean, think about it logically. If I'm Elon Musk and you're the CEO of pretty much any company, you're gonna accept my connection request and you're gonna read my message. Now, obviously, we can't all become Elon Musk and it takes time to build yourself up as an influencer, but the time to start is now. It's a slower grind, but if you do it right, you can potentially get yourself in front of anyone. If you'd like to learn more about how to become an influencer and the fastest ways to get there, drop us a comment and we'll put a video together and talk more about it in depth. That's all for me today, so drop us a like, and if you wanna dive even deeper, in the comment section, you'll find links for two insightful articles on why C-level executives are considered the B2B decision makers and how to get in front of C-level executives from Michael Maximoff, co-founder here at Belkins.